wait, what are you doing? Oh my goodness gracious. Yo, yo, yo. Progress report day. So my accredited investors needed a progress report. This is how I communicate with them. So I'm gonna give them a progress report. If you're not an accredited investor, you're welcome to listen in. Okay, so control points. So we made a mistake. We didn't request the control points at the beginning because we've never done this type of uh, 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 property style. So uh, now we know. So as we waited for the control points, we graded the property. So as we graded the property, um, we were working with, you know, some control points that Aaron from uh, Yancey assigned for us, but we started moving really fast. And I made another mistake. I, I pushed dirt when it was wet. Amateur mistake. I shouldn't have pushed dirt when it's wet because you create mud. No big deal. I needed to move that dirt anyways. Now I have to wait for it to dry or maybe clean it with a machine. So as we pushed this wet dirt, we were challenged with an enormous amount of material on the, um, we got a truck that we're watching on the auction and we have an hour now to go look at it. We want an F-250, there's no trucks. We gotta wait 16 months. We need, we need trucks to move heavy equipment around. Okay, so back to it. So as we started grading and getting rid of the lumps, you know, this was like, literally was like potholes everywhere and we need this sort of flat with uh, grading so the water moves away from the property. So we accumulated a lot of dirt. Yeah, baby, we do tracking here with Ermer's Capital. This is what we do, no wet dirt. Tracking, baby. I'm gonna show you how to do this. I just learned today, so do not try this at home. It might be dangerous. Okay, now we're trying to remove the tarp that we put on that stupid thing. <laughs> And now we can't remove it, so we're gonna go with the skid steer and try to remove it, okay? Then we were faced like, what in the world are we gonna do with all this dirt? Lack of experience, but we're saving hundreds of thousands of dollars by doing it ourselves because contractors right now are like in high demand, people don't wanna work, inflation is skyrocketing. So we are learning to do this ourselves. We're learning to do this with the help of our cat de dealer in town Yancey, we now were faced with a problem. What in the world are we gonna do with all this dirt? Cause we didn't know what to do with it. So we tried this. Total disaster, this machine could not handle the work. It was very difficult to use. You'll see me struggling with it. But then I called my rep and got him to send me a wheel loader. Amazing. Here we go. So with this wheel loader, not only did we able to move the dirt around at lightning speed, thanks to my uh, rep from the rental department, a Yancey Rental, amazing. Uh, you should call uh, Steven, he'll hook you up. So Steven immediately got me a brand new wheel loader, literally smelled brand new. We dropped it, we moved the dirt, and then something crazy happened. My bulldozer got stuck as I was learning to track. Now, something that I got to show you. That was another problem that we had for erosion control. So we keep everything. We have to track the pile. So we moved it with the big wheel loader. We put it there. But now we, our rep came back and goes, you got to track that because that'll start to melt down and spread for erosion control. Make sure you track it. So I never, I don't even know. So I told you, yo, what is tracking? Aaron showing me tracking. We have videos. So Aaron came by and showed me how to track. Okay, great. So here we go. I'm I'm tracking. <laughs> it was too wet. My bulldozer got stuck in the mud. Like literally got stuck on the top of an of I think it had like 18 feet tall amount of, of dirty gravel that I had put there and the thing sunk. So me and Donnie started struggling.
So we got the machine stuck. We tried to pull it with a shame that was stupid. He's in a little midlife crisis. That's not the right saying for this, I believe. It and we were able to get it out thanks to the wheel loader okay this is what's going on guys so we got the two hundred and forty thousand dollar dozer on a rental purchase agreement you know what that means if you rent if you don't buy it you pay rent if you buy it your rent goes towards the port purchase of the dozer so this is an older model it doesn't have the modern earthworks i think we're on the fence about we buy this one that it has the old technology or we buy a D4 that has a brand new technology, 3D, awesome, Donnie's been reviewing it. Ah, out with the old and in with the new. What do you say, Donnie? Trimble, a leader in precision construction technology, has expanded the Earthworks grade control application to support dozers. Built on the Android operating system and running on the Trimble TD520 display, the Trimble Earthworks interface is designed for usability Modern and colorful graphics, natural interactions and gestures, and self-discovery features make it intuitive and easy to learn. And with each function being accessible and minimal button presses, getting to what you need is simple. Yeah, I would be old and would be <laughs> Okay, so this is where we're at in the existing uh, uh, site we were able to you know kind of skim it and put some material on top I don't even think we even need to put material Aaron is telling me that we don't have to put that much material which that's actually pretty good news because what we had planned for this was three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in rock alone so three hundred and fifty thousand that we already gonna save because no regular contract is just gonna contractor it's gonna be honest with us and tell us ah you don't need to put rock they want to do the work and they get paid ninety thousand dollars to spread the dirt which we're gonna the rock so we're gonna do it ourselves so right now we're saving three fifty ninety thousand to spread the dirt uh to spread the dirt guys we paid for the bulldozer already so this is where we're at but tomorrow guys they're coming with a drone that does an image of the site, if it doesn't rain, does an image on the site, and it shows, you know, where we need material. It's, it's pretty techy. We're gonna try to record and show you guys uh, as much as we possibly can. If you've never been in this in this construction business, you will never know, but it's pretty interesting. And the, the, the amazing thing is that Donnie has learned how to do all the elevation checks, the topos, the technology. He's, he's really, he's beyond, holding the camera. Uh, respect to you, Donnie, great job. Okay, so this is where we're at. And tomorrow, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you the drone. DJI drone. Yeah, yeah, right here. Thank you, sir. Payload. <laughs> this is DJI's P1 sensor. It's a 45 that... megapixel camera with a 35 oh, so it's millimeter it's still not lens. done being built. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> Hasta la vista, baby, Mr. Ermers, checking out.